Hi guys, in today's video we are going to talk about the surface deformer. Now the surface deformer, what it does is it makes uh, one object or the shape of one object follow the deformation of another object. So I'll go ahead and create a landscape object and create a plane. So my intention is to make the plane follow the um, shape of the landscape. So I'll to create a surface object, come to the uh, deformer menu here. And in here, I have the surface object. I'll make it a child of the plane. And when it comes to the um, properties, uh, attributes of the surface deformer, we have um, so they come to object and we have projection, we have UV, uh, mapping UV and mapping VU. So let's choose the mapping VU and we'll ask um, it will ask us which object do we want to project onto. I'll see, I'll bring the landscape and instantly you can see. The plane is wrapping around the the landscape. Let me add, give it a material for us to see the difference. So you can see the plane is wrapping or covering the the the, the distortion or the shape of the of the um, landscape. I'll add a bit of more segments. I'll add fifty. I'll make it fifty by fifty. Now, so basically, this is what it does. There is other forms to projection. But the projection works a bit differently. So the projection, I'll, I'll use something different to show the projection. So let me go ahead and create a new scene. I'll create, um, let's say a cube. I'll create a cube, right? Make the um, segment 20 by 20 by 20, right? And I'll create a plane, right? Change the orientation to minus z, make it a bit smaller. And my intention to is to make it attach it to the face of the this side of the cube. Let me add the material to this one for us to see the difference. So I attach it to the face of the cube, right? So I'm going to use the surface um, um deformer to do that. So I'll go to deformers surface deformer, make it a child of the plane. Right, and I'll I'll tell the um the surface deformer the object I want the surface I want is the cube. Not nothing much will happen, right? Because they are all the same. Now I'll come in here and I'll change from the projection back to the UV uh, mapping UV, right? And you can see what we have. So it's asking us which plane. So we we'll, the plane we want is the X Y plane, and you can see what's going on. It's project. It's projecting it um, on top. Let's actually, um, if let me actually hide the cube, and you can see what's happening. It's not look, getting the right face to project on, and the reason is because we are using the UV. So my four D gives its object uh, an automatic UV. So because it, this is a cube, it have like a UV um, a UV of a cube. So if I should make it editable, actually. You know, so this is the UVW that Cinema 4D by default gives it. So if you want to really project it properly without using the projection, it means you have to go in and align, make the UV properly. So I'll actually go ahead and delete it. And if I delete it, you can see now it can't find any UV to use. So it's back to its not default state. So my way, way around it is to I'll actually create a plane, make it minus Z, right? And I'll make it a table. To get the UV of the plane, right? Then I'll drag it on top of the cube and let's see what happens. Immediately I drop it on top of the cube. Now the plane with the surface deformer recognizes this UV and sees it as a plane, like a um a plane UV. So now it's projecting a plane with the surface deformer plainly in front of the surface of the cube. So now everything that we do to the cube, it will automatically affect the plane. So if we move the cube and everything. Will affect the plane. So if I should come in here and I'll add a displacer, make it a child, and come in here, shader, add noise, and you can see it's affecting our cube as uh, our plane as well. So if I should come in here and probably increase the um, global scale and increase the animation speed of the noise see it's also moving 
along with the queue. So basically, that's how. So it can be anything. For instance, I can actually come in here. Let me take off the display, uh, uh, display and let's use right click and let's use um, simulation cloth, right? Then now, actually, let me set this point so that the cloth doesn't fall. So I'll set some points here. Right. Then I'll come to um, dresser and I'll set fix points. Now let's hit play. You can see the the um how the uh the plane is sticking to the surface of the of the cube like the cloth cube. So it's some it's very interesting way. So you can actually come in here and add a bit of thickness so that I can come um simulate uh, cloth surface. So I can plot surface and increase it a bit see deforming it smoothly uh, following the shape of the cloth and everything so the surface deformer is a really interesting one to play around with so the uvs if you have proper uv sets you can actually project any, everything anything onto another um, object and you move with the deformation and everything smoothly with the projection one, um, it, it, it works a bit. So the projection, you don't necessarily need the UV. So I'll actually hide this and I could go in here and I'll change it to projection. Now with the projection, um, you need to get your object as close as possible. So yeah, then now I'll go ahead and hit initialize so it will calculate and now if i hit play you know it's projected on the surface of the cube and now i can add the thickness and now everything works like fine so basically that's how the um uv um the surface deformer works i think you know, yeah, so you see now with the projection, I have to change the thickness. So with the, let me actually add this with the UV. Um, if I go back to the UVs, you see we have you uh, mapping UV and you have map we have mapping VU. It flips the um object differently. So if you have like some textures and everything, sometimes you have to change it to either VU or UV. And it works and the plane also determines if it's from up then it means you have to choose the X Z and all that so you play around with it and when you come here you see with the UV it scales it to like 1.8.5 so if I should make it one let's see what happens you know it's a bit bigger so, <laughs> so make it a bit smaller so you can use this one to also scale it a little bit to the size you want. So that's how everything works. So for instance, with this one, you can see, so let me change it to mapping view and you can see it flips the um, thickness, the cloth thickness. So there are several interesting ways to use this. Imagine like someone wearing a cloth with some sticker or some patches or anything on it. You can attach it to cloth and it will be interesting. You can do a lot of interesting stuff. With it nice thanks for watching and see you in the next one